Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my Airbnb here in Oakland, California. Now, I did something similar to this last summer when I came out for my belly dance school summer intensive and I gave you a, a kind of like a, I gave you a little tour of the plant life where I was staying. So I wanted to go ahead and do that. I literally danced eight hours today. So I'm nice and sweaty. My makeup is looking crappy. I'm gonna jump in the shower. But it's 6 p.m. and I wanted to film this video before it gets dark. And the inside of the home just in general is on the dark side. But I do see a few cool plants that I wanted to share in today's video. And also, I kind of just wanted to know your thoughts of the type of plants that this Airbnb uh, chose for this house. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. And so I was really surprised to see a few plants in here. So give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and do a little plant tour. So here is the front entrance of my Airbnb. And I do see a few things here up in the front, which is pretty common in landscaping, especially in California. So I do see some aeoniums here. And also I see some elephant's bush there hiding. I also see another few aeoniums out here too in the front. But for the most part, I feel like the yard is not really taken care of or not really into keeping up with the landscaping here. And also I see this here, which is a succulent garden. It looks like some Cressula galoom, some elephant's bush, and an Echeveria or sedum. And there's a lot of cobwebs on it, so that's kind of sad. But that happens to my plants being outside too. And then he, this is some kind of Echeveria as well. And as you can see, this Echeveria also has a lot of cobwebs. So this is what plant life is like outside of my Airbnb. Now let's come in and take a look at what's going on here. So right off the bat, up here I see a sensoveria, which for me makes sense because as you can see, this place is dark already. Um, so having a sensoveria for a plant on a shelf, one single plant, I think that's a good choice of plant. But if I was living in this space, I'd probably cover this whole shelf full of plants and just have this like as a living wall. Here is the living room. And that's the room I'm staying in there. No plants in there, but I do wanna share with you what's going on in the living room. This is a very common house plant. So to see this in this space makes me happy. It's a golden pothos. I'm kind of interested to see what is it living in. This is a nice planter, so great choice of planter. And I also feel the plastic planter in here. Does need a little bit of pruning here. Um, but this is a very low maintenance plant. Now if you look up here, there's a lot of skylighting throughout this house and this plant is right under the skylight. So perfect place to have the pothos here. Now in the kitchen, I see one plant here and it is a little Boston fern. It kind of almost looks like mine. It's just living in its nursery planter. Uh, it's probably like the best place to have a fern right by the kitchen sink because it is a very needy plant. And kind of looks like it's just doing okay. Now let me take you, let me take you to the bathroom because the bathroom has one plant, which by the way, there's also a skylight here, but take a look. Here is a beautiful Talanzia. I don't have a big one like this. I don't know when the last time I got water, but they have it just kind of sitting in a decorative pot on top of the toilet. But love seeing a Talanzia here. And then coming in this section here, are the two plants that really caught my eye here. So this is a beautiful Maranta. It's just as big as mine's actually that I just repotted. Here's another point of view. Beautiful plant. I was really uh, excited to see this plant here. I don't know when the last time it got watered, but very nice prayer plant. And then here I see in this corner by the sliding door so it does get natural lighting a fiddle leaf fig 
and it's just living in its nursery planner. I do see a lot of new growth down here. Like, look at this little baby here. Isn't that cute? Actually, I love that. Look at that. Some babies down here. That is so cute. So, it's nice to see a fiddly fig in this Airbnb. And then up here, I notice this is a label string of pearls but nothing is happening up there so the string of pearls didn't make it okay, let me see if i can get outside here there is some plant life out here so out here i see some aeoniums i see Ooh, I see some sedums out there. So this is the backyard. I see an interesting planter here. Love that. And then looks like they're growing some mint here. And then looks like they're about to pot up some plants here. I don't know how long it's been in this container, but some Echeverias, Cressula, and some Galoom. So nice to see that here. Oh, I also took notice of this log here. Look at this. Some succulents in there. And this looks like basil. Yep, sweet basil. And I see, I guess, some cuttings over here. Some Echeverias. So trying to do some plant life out here. Let's take a look on the other side. And then now here is just a big bowl of what's cascading over. But that is plant life here for my Airbnb. What do you guys think? This is a quick little tour of what's going on at the Airbnb that I'm staying at. Not as cool and exciting as the Airbnb that I stayed in last year. And that host was really nice. She let me take a bunch of cuttings. If you guys watched that, um, or if you haven't, go and find it on my channel. I did a tour of her place. It was filled with succulents. And she let me take whatever cuttings. And it was really nice. I took a big bag of cuttings back with me, which is so cool because they're living in my space now. But I wanted to share with you what was plant life at my Airbnb out here in Oakland. Um, so interesting to see the type of plants that... Um, the person who owns this home chose have in his house. Um, I haven't met the host, but I like seeing the plants that there was living in there. A Sensevaria, Pothos, a Fern, a Maranta, and the Fiddle Leaf Fig. Those are like really good house plants. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick little tour of what is living in the Airbnb that I'm staying at this summer. I hope you guys enjoyed it found it interesting there was also even a talansia in the bathroom so sound up down below uh, what do you think about the plants that the house chose for inside of the home and how they styled it and i just wanted to share this for the channel so i hope you guys enjoyed today's quick video i'm gonna jump in the shower reset myself because i danced for eight hours but i did get to film a come with me on my lunch break and I was really excited about that. I'm going to pack my dream plant for a separate video, so stay tuned. I might do that maybe tomorrow because I think it's just a little bit too early to take it out of the planter. I am here for another three more nights. So it is, it is Sunday and I'm leaving Monday. So I think it's too early to take the plant out of the planter. But I plan on taking all of the soil out and packing it in my bag. I know I look crazy, but I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick little video of the space that I'm staying at. And I want to hear your thoughts. I'm going to jump in the shower and I'm going to treat myself out to dinner tonight. And I'm probably going to stay in for the rest of my trip and have just dinners at home because I think I'm going to get a lot of homework. But I love seeing what plant life is like in different cities and states. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing what plant life is like at this home in Northern California. And stay tuned for more videos. You can find more on my blog at alajolian.blogspot.com. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. And I'm here in Oakland, California. And I can't wait to bring back my dream plant. So I'll see you guys soon. Until next time, aloha from Oakland, California. Bye!